Now it's time to create the final look of the image. And to do this, I will change the color a little bit and the lighting. But in this video, I will show you uh, my way of painting with light. Yeah, and the painting with light technique, it's kind of a dodging and burning techniques. I mean, I can do exactly the same on my dodging and burning layers, but I like to have this step um, on my own layer. So what I do is I create a new blank layer and I call this blank layer painting with light. And what I do right now is I add a vignette. This is what we did in the raw conversion, but not so strong. And I'm still not happy here with the parts around the model. The location is still very bright. And I mean, the way how we look uh, at images is we go from the dark part to the brighter parts. We go from decelerated parts to the saturated parts. That's how we look at images. And my attention is, of course, on the model. I mean, there is a nice model sitting in a dirty location. Of course, my focus is here. But I think I can make it a little bit more interesting by darkening the parts around the model. So what I do is I change the blend mode from normal to soft light. And then I start painting with a big, big brush around the model. So let's choose here an opacity of 20% and a big brush and... Uh, 0% hardness and then I can paint here around the model to make everything darker. Let's make the brush a little bit smaller and let's paint again. Here is way too bright. The floor here is okay but here it's too bright so I darken the floor here. And I don't like the brighter gray part in the background here on the wall so I darken this part a little bit. Let's make it a little bit bigger again and again. And here a little bit, and here. And now I switch uh, to my white foreground color. Let's change the opacity a little bit and let's bright, brighten up here a little bit and here and maybe a little bit in the face. And take a look before, after, before, after. I like this much, much more. It's still a little bit too bright here in the top left corner, but it depends on your personal taste. So you don't have to make it uh, this kind of dark. I mean, that looks very dark, everything. But I like it and it's very easy to do. Another way is when you already have a dark image, when you like to brighten up some parts to bring a little bit more attention on it, what you can do is create a new layer and call this layer, let's say, Spotlight and change the blend mode to overlay. What you have to do right now is uh, just make a white dot with a white brush right here and then you can move this around and you have your spotlight. Very, very cool to bring a little bit more attention maybe to a text on the wall here. If you go uh, on the model, you can see it's a little bit too bright, but it's a good way um, to bring a little bit more uh, attention to a part of the image. Let's make that a little bit bigger with the free transform tool. Not so big. Let's make it a little bit smaller. I think this is okay. Now we can move it around a little bit and we can change the opacity then. Maybe to, yeah, let's say 8 or 9%. This is good. And this was changing the light a little bit of the image um, to create a little bit kind of this look. And now we add a color cast and then I think we are done with the final look. But let's bring these two layers first together. I press my shift key, I click on both of these, these layers and now I click here on that icon and I choose new group from layers and let's call this group light. And now take a look. Before, after, before, after. Let's change the color here to orange and everything what have to do with light. Let's call it yellow or let's make it yellow, not call it yellow. Take a look at the before, after. I think much better. I mean, it's up to you. You can change the opacity of the whole group if you like. If you think it's a little bit too much, bring it down. Let's bring it down to, uh, let's say, 85%. I think this is good. Before, after. I like it. 